beautiful creatures of the world and welcome back to Coffee with Carrie Lynn. It is a crazy technology nightmare here in the far north of Maine, up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. I hope you guys are having a nice, warm, sunny, summer, calm day, wherever you are. We know about the poor audio quality. It actually sucked the last two audio podcasts we put up on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, and Pandora. See, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is I am relegated to podcast out of a small corner of my kitchen. And it has been hazy, hot, and humid. And I've had to podcast with the window open, which caused a lot of ambient traffic noise on the audio-only podcast show. It's the same show, both all places. I simulcast video along with audio. Unfortunately, the audio equipment is not as robust as the video equipment. I invested and I only I could only invest in one or the other and my heavy investment went into the video end of the podcasting. And as a result, on the videos, the ambient noise is filtered out a great deal better. So I'm trying. I'm trying to clear things up by adjusting and moving the microphones and trying to get as far away from the open window as possible and every time I go to podcast it doesn't matter what day it is what time it is I actually try to podcast on very low traffic times the minute I turn the camera on everybody's got to go to town for bread milk and toilet paper it, it's just it's incredible I think a lot of my irritation today with the equipment is I'm this close the podcast studio being built is stepped back from the road. It's going to be soundproofed, and I'm this close. I'm fighting the weather, and I am also fighting the obligations of the contractor that works for free for me. So when things happen and we have heavy rain, clients call and uh, ask them to come over to take a look because it looks like a water problem on the ceiling or something blew off the roof and... They're paying clients, so I have to gracefully give him to them for the day. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize when what you think is a very small, minor construction issue, it's actually a full day's worth of work for the contractor. So that's what's going on here. And I'm just hoping that I'm not impatient. I'm not being impatient or I'm not being spoiled, uh, a little spoiled brat about things, but this close. I just want to be in the studio. Solve all my problems. Anyways, here we go. We're going to talk about Russia and North Korea and their evil alliance today. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, you are living in the times of bread and circus. While everybody was focused on tonight's debate, the shenanigans CNN was pulling, letting people know that they could not live stream their live stream of the presidential debate because copyright strikes would go on, lawsuits were going to be happening. Well, everybody's focused on those shenanigans. What happened around the 18th of June was that Putin went to visit Rocket Man in North Korea and gave him 90 little devices to put up in the air and take other countries grids out yes EMPs the problem with EMP devices ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world is if they take out the grid in the United States of America 90% of you within the year will cease to exist those are the raw hard facts if they take out a portion of our grid people will move out people will panic some people will stay, and out of the people that stay in that area, 90% of those people in that area that is no longer connected to the grid will not exist within a year. We hear on our podcast, we live in the 19th century. Every single day, we show you different things that we do on the homestead. Maybe you're picking up a trick or two. You know, we live with one foot in the 21st century and one foot in the 19th century. And quite frankly, my life is less complicated in the 19th century than it is in the 21st century. Some days I feel like a time traveler. 
but uh, we show you things that we do here on the homestead and we talk about things that we do here on the homestead, whether it's building your pantry or having a garden. We talk about how to build your soil. We talk about how we do things here without the grid. And hopefully, you know, you're picking up a tip or two from us. We don't show you how to do anything. We don't teach you how to do We show you how to do stuff, but we don't actively teach you how to do it. You got to figure it all out for yourself. You're smart people, especially if you are subscribed to my channels. Uh, you know that, um, you know that things are happening that are going to be out of your control and you need to protect yourself against the happenings that are about to come. Now with the other part of the bread and circus, we have Steve Bannon. He is going to prison around, I think it's July 1st. Congress has decided that Merrick Garland is also in contempt of Congress and he needs to go to jail. And we have Trump being sentenced on Ju July 11th for his, his sentencing. So that's more uproar. And while we're all talking about those things, because they're all breaking at the same time, while Putin is over in North Korea talking with Rocket Man, I said to my husband, there's more to that North Korean story then we know. And when to have it a week later. A week later, North Korea, or uh, Monday, Sunday or Monday, right when the big CNN shenanigans broke, where nobody's going to be able to live stream their live stream with your own commentary because we're going to copyright strike you, comes out, little rocket man comes out to the world and says, yeah, and by the way, within 30 days, I'm going to send 400 soldiers to the Russian-Ukrainian border. And that was the rest of the deal. He got 90 little devices that can take out our grid and he gave them cannon fodder. It's going to get wild, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, as we creep up to election day, it is going to get absolutely crazy wild everything around us, whether it's overseas or in this country. And after we have the election, this country is not going to be all settled. It's not going to be a kumbaya moment. If President Biden wins, nobody that did not vote for him is going to believe that it was a fair election. And if President Trump wins, the same people that came out, you know, the crowd of tolerate me, but I will not tolerate thee. The same far left crowd that came out in the summer of love will be hitting your streets again. Compound that with the who knows who that are just walking in over the border. We literally have, I think it's 400 known nasty terroristic people that just walked over the border and are in this country right now and they can't find them. It is enough to make your head spin. So we need to make sure that we are bracing ourselves personally, bracing ourselves against the upheaval that is to come. We live in interesting times, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, but you really do need to get your skill set on at this point. I am not a person that instills fear. I do not scream breaking news when it's not really happening. I do not scream end of the world. The world's a dumpster fire. Oh my gosh, because we don't live in fear and panic. What I do is I watch everything that's going on around me. And I understand what skills I lack. And those are the skills that I am going to practice at this point. Now, if you haven't begun anything, the first skill you need to do is learn how to grocery shop and put stuff in a pantry. You need to build the pantry because you need to be able to go to your larder and you need to be able to take things out of that larder and feed your family. It's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world. They are not changing selective service laws for nothing. They're changing them for a reason. Those laws have been in effect for 50 years just fine. 
those very laws got us through Desert Shield, Desert Storm. There was no big rush to change the Selective Service laws then. There was a big rush to change the Selective Service laws or attempt to do it in 2020. Ah, light bulb moments for a lot of people. Now they've officially changed how Selective Service is going to operate. They are going to automatically register your sons. And there is a list of Democratic and Independent Senators that want the same equal rights for your daughters. And I am going to complain about this till the, till the cows come home. Because I'm a mama. I don't think any kids should be drafted. But I'm a mama. My kids are on the back end of a draft. They're in their mid-30s to early 30s. So they're on the back end of the draft. Your kids are going to go before my kids do. And by then, everything will probably be over. I do not want females drafted. I do not want males drafted. I do not want people automatically registered. And they're not doing this because shit ain't gonna happen. So everybody who's commenting and writing to me and arguing with me everywhere about their, it's fine, don't worry about it. You need a draft because if there's no draft, nobody will fight, nobody will volunteer. <laughs> Maybe that's the way it should be. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, you need to understand that between tonight and July 11th, and all that nonsense in between that's happening, it is a bread and circus to distract you from what is really going on in the world overseas. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, start getting ready. And your first task is to buy extra food this week. Put it away. There's no harm in that. Absolutely no harm in that. Maybe you have been debating as to whether you're going to plant that garden. Now is the time to test your skills. Go to the store today, go to the nursery today, the greenhouses, and grab yourself some plants, some seedlings, stick them in the ground, stick them in buckets, watch a couple of my videos, and uh, you'll be well on your way to getting yourself a skill. A skill they had in the 19th century, before electricity was invented. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, thank you for joining me today. Be the kindness that you would like to experience in the world. And as always, live life without fear. Carpe diem, beautiful creatures of the world, because no one promised you a tomorrow.